Hi, I follow a YouTuber with a channel called Lori's Robots. Um, and today or yesterday, she posted a, a lovely video on uh, controlling a bicolor LED matrix. So you got a red and a green, and if you mix them together, you get a yellowish orange color. And uh, I had never played with those, and I don't have one in stock. So um might might or might not end up buying one just to try it out but uh, uh she did a lovely video on it but one thing she did say that for drawing images on the screen that she found this uh uh nice uh apple uh uh piece of apple software that would uh uh create your hex string for the uh each of your 64 blocks on your uh uh screen and um but she said that she couldn't find one for windows she found a single color blocks where you could draw single colors and i guess uh she shows a little bit farther on where she uh, shows them being added together but i don't know whether she automated that or just kind of added them together uh, you know to hard code it or whatever so uh, i looked around just to make sure that i had, i'm pretty good at googling i said no nah, i didn't see anything that uh, with any of the search terms i used either so i said well we're all python coders so uh, it seemed like a, something that you could do in python so i uh, got to work this afternoon and Oh, I don't know, maybe three hours of coding later. I ended up with uh, about 90 lines of uh, Python code. Um, it's not the cleanest code in the world. Uh, one of my favorite uh, Python modules is the PySimple GUI uh, library where you can uh, make GUIs, uh, graphical user interfaces. And um, I decided to use that to create uh, as your user interface to create the hex strings. So let's get to the code, I guess. All right. So again, it's about a little less than 90 lines of code. And, um, to use this, you would have to definitely import uh, Pi Simple GUI. Um, if you don't have that, you got to pip install it. It's available as a pip install, so it's not that big a deal if you just want to use the library. Um, if anybody wants to use a GUI, uh, I, I highly recommend this over tkinter. I started out with tkinter and looked at a couple other ones, and this is by far the simplest uh, way of doing it, at least for my brain, because I like I like working with lists, and this is you create your layout by using list inside a list inside a list. And uh, <laughs> uh, some people might not be comfortable with that, but I ended up being pretty cool. So uh, PySimple GUI has what they call this graph element here. So I create a matrix of just small gra graph graphics items on the screen, and you can set the background color of each one of them. And then out in the code and everything i have uh, uh radio buttons where i can choose between uh the colors black green red and orange which are the colors that you're going to end up getting on your uh, uh display hopefully so um that's what i did and uh you just uh set your radio button then you click on a square and it turns to what other color the radio button set on um and i'll show we also have where we can if, if there's a button to fill it with whatever color the radio button's on so if you want to start over with a black screen you just set the radio button to black and hit fill and it'll create all black on the on the thing so um uh like so getting that part of it working, the graphical user interface working, that was pretty easy. And uh, then creating the uh, hexadecimal string out of it, which 
you can see a hexadecimal string down here. I'm doing a lot of prints on here. This program is far from polished and everything. I got prints in there that I need to take out. But uh, you can see that I'm pretty sure that's the uh, format that Lori was using on her. So that's kind of cool. And um, I, just to do the math in it, I also created a, a, a list of the same values in decimal form, made um, my um, life a little simpler when it got to going back and taking a hex value and converting it back into the, um, what do you call it, the... Uh, uh the the matrix the uh, you know putting the colors back on the matrix um like i say turn them into hex values was fairly straightforward it was let's see you can say when you fill a color it's only a few lines of code to fill the color um let's see and this checks for events the color of a, uh, if you click, this is checks for clicks. If uh, you get a click event, then that's going to update the color on whatever color that is based on the current color of whatever the radio button is done. And uh, like I said, I had the fill thing up there. So the actually, this is from uh, image to hexadecimal. And it's, you know, maybe. 15, 12, 15 lines of code. Fairly simple, you know, we're just uh, doing that. Uh, one thing I did find out is that I, <laughs> most of the time with most of these things on there, you can get your, if you put something in here, like I can set the background color of the, uh, of the little squares to what our color I want, but then it, doesn't seem to be the way to read the color. So I actually created a separate matrix, 64 matrix, using the same uh, uh, indexing. And I just pretty much doubled up all everything I had to do. So anytime you see a window event, then I had to uh, also update my matrix dictionary as well. So um, you'll see that on their things and this is where I'm doing matrix dictionary and checking that to see what color we are. So, and this is where it actually converts it to a hex. And that wasn't too bad, but then when we put a hex value in our input and then want to try to get it back onto the screen to see what you, what a uh, certain hex, 64 hex values is going to look like on the screen, you, um, takes a little bit more of a, of a deal. Uh, starts on 63 and ends on 84. So it's only 20 lines. That wasn't too bad. But trying to figure all this out, the ifs and the else and the else ifs and everything. And like I said, you're sorting through the matrix. So you got to do a too deep for loop when you're doing that. So it ended up, ended up being a, a pretty good head scratcher for me. But uh like I said, I kind of like uh, dealing with it, these kind of things. So I guess the best thing to do is get it started and show you what I got. So this is what it comes up with. It starts out with all black, like they're all off. And then you can choose a color. So we can choose a green and maybe do green here, green here, green here. And maybe change over to red, 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 red. And then maybe orange and there we go. So that's what we got there. And then, like I said, I got, I didn't even put a title on this yet, but I should have done that. But uh, the hex value is going to show up in this box here. It's also going to print out to the console. Um, I haven't really figured out how to do a right click copy. So you got to use control C to, copy this or control V to paste it, another one back into this thing here. So um, my, there's probably, I'm sure there's a way to use the right click menu 
context menu, but I might have to have other menus up up at the top to so that I can use that. And I just don't have that available right this second. So, or haven't haven't played with it with Pi Simple GUI, so I haven't done that. So we're going to convert this to a hex string now. And you can see you got the hex string just about uh, what we got there. So this is actually, you know, you using uh, Lori showed that it was green, then red I mean, for each row. And um, like you said, you can see that hexadecimal eight zero is this one here. So, and you have to add them up. And like I said, and um, so to show that you can save it, this is going to stay here. And if I just hit black and then fill it with black, I got rid of all the things here, but the, but our code is still in there. Our, our hex uh, string is still in there. So now if I say convert hex string back to an image, it should come right back and come back. Now you, like I say, you could paste in something that, from another, you know, from any any text document or or whatever, you can just uh, take uh, put it in there, and it's gonna make a string out of it. So, um, and then, like I said, I can show that you can you know change it, and it'll do the same thing. So we can change this one to an orange and an orange if you wanted to, and uh, you can make some of them black if you want. To, and then we can uh, save it again. And now you'll have a different hex string. You'll see that the first is zero zero because there's nothing in this row that's on. So that's that's good thing showing that it did change. So now I'm gonna go ahead and fill this with black again. Get rid of everything. And now I'm gonna convert it to a string. And that one came back again. So anyhow, so no sense learning Python if you can't use it to create some uh, scripts that can be useful for you. So um, I'll post the code with this video and I'll link to this video over on Lori's comments so that others can maybe find it if they want to. Like I said, you will need to pip install PySimple GUI if you want to use this. Otherwise, that's I, there's no other modules that you'll need for this. And it should just run right out of the box, I hope, for you. Anyhow, that's all I got. And I didn't even put an exit button. I just used the exit at the top. I can say, I want to get this video out. It's uh, Friday night at 10 o'clock in the evening. So <laughs> it's almost past my bedtime. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.